Hi and welcome to The Fun Accountant. My name is Dominique and in today's video we are going to do the annual reconciliation declaration submission for a company using Sage Cloud Accounting. Today's video will be a little bit longer in length because I will be doing a live submission of the annual reconciliation report with you. Before we begin doing the submission, if there's anyone out there watching who has never done an EMP501 submission, let's first understand why, how, and when these submissions take place. What is a reconciliation? An EMP501 reconciliation is a report of all a company's employees' earnings, which must be submitted to SARS. Employers are required to perform a biannual reconciliation of the payroll taxes, pay as you earn, SDL and UIF, declared monthly on the Employer Declaration Report, known as your EMP-201. This reconciliation is between the EMP-201 returns and the information that SARS has in terms of payments made by the company. It is the employer's obligation to deduct and declare the correct amount of employee's tax from each employee's remuneration and pay this over to SARS on a monthly basis. Why should I submit my EMP-501? The basic answer is it's the law. However, it's important to understand exactly why you are doing something. The amount of tax deducted from your employee's remuneration is paid to SARS on a monthly basis in a lump sum. The purpose of the reconciliation is to ensure that the total amount of tax paid to SARS agrees with the total amount of tax deducted from your employees. The end result of the reconciliation is that each employee receives an IRP-5 or IT-3 certificate. An IRP-5 or IT-3 is a document that contains all the employee's information regarding their remuneration and other prescribed deductions that may affect their taxes and statutory contributions, like UIF. The certificate automatically updates the employee's tax return with the submission performed by an employer. After this process, SARS has a full record of income and taxes paid to each person employed in a particular tax year. How to submit your company's EMP-501. The EMP-501 submission is done twice a year. There is a mid-year reconciliation for the first six-month period, March to August, followed by a final reconciliation for the full tax year that spans from 1 March to the last day of February. Only the final reconciliation issues the IRP-5 certificate. I will be using SARS EasyFile to show you how to submit your EMP-501. This is the only option available for companies with more than 50 employees, while smaller companies may choose either EasyFile or SARS e-filing. So let's begin. Sage Cloud Payroll is a reliable software solution with automatic tax calculations being applied by the software that are consistently and automatically updated as legislative changes take place. I will be doing a year in tax submission from Sage Cloud Payroll. Log into your payroll software using your login credentials. Select the company and then cycle of the company you will be doing submissions for. Have a look at the white menu adjacent to the Sage Payroll logo and select the Tax Certificate menu item. Generate your tax year end and mid year submission file to be imported into EasyFile here. Your company details will be filled automatically provided the company was correctly set up. You do, however, need to input the submission details. Select the tax year. Select the submission period. I am submitting the company's year-end tax. Next, select the type of submission. I'm doing a live submission. If you need to do a resubmission for any reason, you will choose resubmission. The tax submission file will be downloaded in the following format. This file will later be uploaded to SARS EasyFile. A pop-up will appear indicating that your file has been successfully exported. 
we will now go ahead and download our submission reports. These reports are important for record keeping purposes and will be the reports you send to SARS to accompany your tax submission should SARS audit your company. Now that we have successfully downloaded our tax submission file from our payroll software, we need to log into SARS Easy File to do the submissions. Log into your SARS Easy File profile. First, we will add an employer together. With no company selected, navigate to the left of the screen to a sidebar menu. Select the Employer Admin menu item and then select the View Edit Change item. Add an employer by filling out all the particulars of your company here. You should now be working within the company you added. Now we are going to import our payroll file. In the same sidebar menu, navigate to the import item and select import export payroll file. Import the tye.2020.txt file downloaded from your payroll software. Navigate to and select the utilities item in the sidebar menu. Select import payroll file log to check the status of the uploaded file. We want the status to be passed and imported. We now have everything we need to complete the EMP501. I confidently navigate to the declaration item in the sidebar menu, but I'm ultimately met with a pop-up indicating I need to download the Easy File form viewer. This can be done right here within Easy File. Navigate to and select the Utilities item again and locate the last drop-down, System Configuration. Here you can see the Easy File Forms Viewer application. Select the Install button to install the app. Once the app has been installed, navigate to the Declaration item in the sidebar menu once again. At the top of the EMP501 declaration window, select the period of reconciliation and then select request. A pop-up will appear asking you to choose how to input the financial data. I have imported my submission file from my payroll software. So I go ahead and select accept data. I am confident in its accuracy. You will be asked to enter your login details to continue. Select View so we can review the EMP501 declaration. Before I am able to view the declaration, however, SARS requires a form update to be downloaded. Select the Download button. Your declaration may take a while to download. This is your EMP501 declaration. Sections highlighted in red require your attention. However, it is good practice to review all the information entered. Reconcile the financial particulars section of the declaration by comparing the amount paid from the pay as you earn statement of account downloaded from SARS e-filing to the amounts in the last column. At the bottom of the declaration form, the differences should be zero or minimal unless an underpayment or overpayment to the authorities has been made. This will result in an annual declaration liability. In this reconciliation, there are differences due to take on balances entered into the payroll software when the employer switched his software. Fortunately, we were aware of issues pertaining to the company's UIF calculations and therefore were able to reconcile the differences fairly quickly. We manually adjusted the UIF deduction and company contributions according to the statutory requirements. It takes a few attempts, but eventually we balance the figures. The reconciliation is almost complete. We now need to input the actual payments made to SARS on a monthly basis. Open your statements of account from SARS e-filing and input the transactional values for each month. Slight differences are indicated as being due to rounding in the reason for over or understatement of deductions section. 
Once all the information has balanced, you have completed the reconciliation. In the upper left-hand corner, select File and Close from the File drop-down. A pop-up will appear indicating the declaration is ready to file. In the sidebar menu to the left of the screen, under the item Submissions, select Submit to SARS. Your EMP501 will be listed with a Ready to File status. Check the Submit checkbox and then select the Submit button in the top left-hand corner of the Submission window. Select a folder to save the document to. You will be asked to log in once more. A pop-up will appear indicating that the EMP501 has been uploaded successfully. Your submission will be processed. A pop-up will appear indicating that the submission to SARS is successful. Now that we have submitted the EMP501, we can complete our year-end tax submission by generating the employee tax certificates. Navigate to and select the Utilities item again and locate the Generate IRP5 or IT3A PDFs drop-down. The EMP501 we submitted will be here with a submitted status. Check the Export checkbox and then select the Export button at the top right of the window. A pop-up will appear. Check All and then select the Export button. Select a folder to save the documents to. A pop-up will appear indicating that the certificates have been generated successfully. And that's it! We have submitted your EMP501 submission. Thank you for joining me. If you have any more questions about your NTAC submissions, leave them in the comments below. I hope you learned something from today's video. And if you did, please like this video before you leave. Subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications bell so you can keep joining us as we create videos to help you conquer cloud solutions and take your business to new heights. See you next time. Bye.